this is the first time we've gotten together since you left inpatient rehab. How are you feeling? Good. I mean, really good. Happy to be clean, right? But, you know, scared, too. Scared? Why's that? Well, I, it's easy to be clean in an inpatient program, but... Now I'm back in the real world, all those temptations, triggers, it's, I guess it's intimidating. Like, people relapse, you know? It happens. What if it happens to me? Well, there's no indication. Well, and I'm not saying it's gonna happen, right? But I'm just saying, what if? I mean, I feel good right now, but there's always that little voice saying, you could feel better and you're afraid that you're going to listen to that little voice. I guess so, yeah. All right, let's talk about that. Okay. You remember from your sessions that if you were to use opioids right now, you'd be especially vulnerable to an overdose, right? Well, I'm not saying that. I know that, but let me just finish. When you've been using opioids for a long time and then you stop using for a while, you become especially sensitive to them. Your tolerance goes way down. A dose that would have felt okay to you before you checked into rehab could kill you now. So, what, you have a recommended dose for people who fall off the wagon? We do have a program that can reduce your risk of dying if you do happen to slip. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We're providing a medication called naloxone that could help save someone's life if they accidentally OD'd. I'm already taking methadone. Right. Naloxone isn't a maintenance medication like methadone. It's an emergency medication that can help save a person who's taken too much of an opioid, whether that's heroin or prescription opioids like Oxycontin or methadone. Hmm. Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, I was just... I was just thinking that if something like this had been available last year, maybe my friend Evie would still be around. She OD'd? Yeah. But no one really knew what was happening until it was too late. Well, that's one of the things we talk about in the brochure. How to recognize the signs of an overdose. How it's different from someone just being intoxicated. I figured the signs of an overdose were, you know, no pulse, not breathing. It can get to that point, but there are signs before that. In the brochure, we use the CLLT approach to help you recognize an overdose. C is check for very deep unconsciousness with no response to shaking or shouting the person's name. L is listening for gurgling or choking sounds that might at first sound like heavy snoring. Uh, slow breathing, like less than one breath every six to eight seconds, or yeah, no breathing. The next L is look for gray or blue fingernails or lips. And the T is touch. Feel for clammy, sweaty skin. Any of these can be a warning sign of an overdose. So C-L-L-T. Check, listen, look, touch. Yeah, but you're saying this is something you want to talk about for me. It's not like I'm going to recognize the signs in myself, am I? No, probably not. That's why we also want you to share this information with people close to you so they know what to do in the case of an emergency. We're offering three different delivery systems. One's a nasal spray, one's an injection into the muscle, and the third is an auto-injector. Do I get to choose which one I'd rather have? We'll make that decision together. I don't think needles are a good idea for me. That's a pretty powerful trigger. Maybe the nose spray is the best one. Fair enough. So what, you guys just hand me a bottle of nose spray and I keep it with me? <laughs> There's a little more to it than that. There's a kit that has the medication, enough for two doses, the delivery system, and instructions. If you're interested, I can set up a meeting with our clinical pharmacist. He can show you what's in the kit and teach you how to set it up. Would you like that? Yeah, I think I would. It sounds like a pretty good idea. But... What is it? I'm worried that this is just going to make me feel like it's okay for me to use. Like, no worries, here's this stuff that makes it safe for you to get high. I get that. But I really don't think that's going to happen. You're still going to be going to group and seeing us regularly because, Marty, 
you know it's not safe to use. Overdose is just one of dozens and dozens of reasons why it's not safe. We're just trying to make sure that you and your friends stay alive long enough to leave all drug abuse in your distant past, okay? Okay. Also, as with all medications, there are side effects. Naloxone can cause opioid withdrawal symptoms. However, the alternative could be death if you stop breathing, so we do believe the benefits of giving this medication outweigh the risks. Makes sense. Any more questions? Can I set up a meeting with our pharmacist for you? Yeah, please. And uh, can my roommate Lily be there for it? I mean, she'd be the one who might need to help me if I ever needed it. Oh, of course. I think that's a great idea. Thank you, doctor for the information and just for caring. It's my pleasure. Now, let's go over this brochure a little more carefully. There's a lot of information in here. I want to show you specifically right here.